Let's break down the difference between CIH Certified Industrial Hygienist and CSP Certified Safety Professional in a clear, narrative format. 1. Core Focus CIH Certified Industrial Hygienist focuses on health hazards in the workplace. Think about chemical exposures, toxic gases, noise levels, biological agents, and indoor air quality. A CIH is trained to recognize, evaluate, and control occupational health risks, especially those that can silently affect workers over time. 2. Scope in oil field settings. A CIH on a land rig might assess whether workers are being exposed to diesel vapors during oil-based mud or whether silica dust from drilling operations exceeds permissible levels. They may design ventilation systems or recommend personal protective equipment PPE to reduce long-term exposure risks. When mixing diesel-based OBM, vapors may contain VOCs like alkanes, hexane, heptane, aromatic hydrocarbons, toluene, xylene, in closed mud tanks or shaker rooms, exposure can build up. VOCs. These are organic chemicals carbon-based that easily evaporate into the air at normal temperatures. Many VOCs are hazardous to human health, especially when inhaled in poorly ventilated areas. 3. Certification and background. To become a CIH, you usually need a science-heavy background chemistry, biology, toxicology, or engineering, and must pass a rigorous exam administered by the Board for Global EHS Credentialing BGC. The focus is on technical expertise in exposure science. 4. Complementary roles in a high-risk drilling site. A CIH might ensure that workers aren't overexposed to HS gas or other airborne contaminants, and that noise levels from diesel engines are within legal limits. 5. Summary in simple terms. If you think health risks like toxic exposure, think CIH. CSP, Certified Safety Professional, is more concerned with safety hazards and risk management. This includes fall protection, confined space entry, lifting operations, fire prevention, safety procedures, and hazard communication. The CSP role is broader and includes accident prevention, system safety, and safety leadership. A CSP would focus on preventing incidents like a dropped object from the derrick, a confined space entry incident in the mud tank, or ensuring proper lockout to gout during maintenance. Their work is aimed at incident prevention and keeping the workplace safe in the immediate sense. The CSP, certified by the Board of Certified Safety Professionals, BCSP, requires experience in safety management and passing a comprehensive exam. It covers topics like risk assessment, emergency response planning, hazard control, and safety program development. A CSP would ensure the permit to work system is in place, lifting operations are properly planned, safety drills are conducted, and that the rig crew follows safe work procedures. If you think accident prevention and safety systems, think CSP.